Starting off with the flowy skirt legging combo thing, you're going to need to pick out some cute Halloween fabric or any fabric you want to do. You could do this for any holiday or any kind of print, but Joann's Fabrics had a ton of different fabrics to choose from, characters, glow in the dark, everything you could think of. They had a ton of great stuff, but make sure you get enough to go all the way around you, more than enough, and if you want to put the same fabric on the inside of the skirt, get double the amount, but I got a plain black fabric to put on the inside of the skirt. Now I'm just starting off by ironing my fabric, of course, to get it all smooth and nice. And I'm folding over about a half inch of the edge of the fabric on each side and ironing it to create a little crease and then pinning that to the black fabric. That way it is all ready to be sewn. Now this is the setting I'm using on my sewing machine. And I'm simply sewing around all four edges of the fabric to attach the black to the inside of the printed fabric. Now taking the sewn together piece, I'm showing you where I want it to attach on my waist to the leggings. Now you can attach it wherever you want if you want it to go all the way around or halfway or whatever, but I have uh, about four inches of space in between. Now this is called a gathering stitch. I will link a video below of how to explain it, but you basically have to stretch the fabric and measure it and you have to sew it while the elastic is stretched out so that it gathers correctly. Like I said, I'll link a video below. It's much easier to understand, but this is the setting we used on the sewing machine and my lovely stepmom sewed the gathering stitch for me just to attach the skirt part to the legging part and it was much easier than me doing it. So here we go cute little spooky skirt legging thing. It's actually not too complicated and I think it came out really cool. I love this fabric. To the bat wings shirt of course we're going to iron our fabric first to get it all nice and smooth and for this you'll need the black fabric a long sleeve black shirt a plate and a piece of chalk so first I'm laying out my black shirt with the arm up against the black fabric and I'm using the chalk to draw a dotted line to trace exactly where I'm gonna need to cut out the bat wing part I hope this makes sense y'all Now I'm creating a curve from the bottom of the shirt to the edge of the sleeve to show where the bat wing is going to be and here's where the plate comes in handy. You are going to line up the plate about halfway or a third of the way into the bat wing and I'm moving the plate down slightly with each little curve and I'm tracing around that to create the points of the bat wing. Now it depends the size of your shirt but I fit about four curves onto my bat wing. Now we're gonna fold the fabric and smooth it all out so that we can cut both sides for each side of the shirt together and just save time. Now my stepmom cut this for me, but you're going to cut along the dotted edges on the top and then along each curve on the bottom and we can touch up the lines later, so don't worry about it. You just need your basic outline. And now you have two pieces, one for each side. Magic. Also, don't worry, the chalk comes off really easy. You don't even need to wash it. 
Now, like I did with the skirt, I'm folding about half inch of the fabric over on each edge, flat edge of the bat wing and ironing it down to create kind of a little lip or um, a seam, I don't know what you want to call it, so that I know where to attach the bat wing to the shirt. Now this is the setting I'm using on the sewing machine. Now this is really simple and it kind of depends on the fabric you're using, but since I used a cheap fabric, I didn't want it to fray. So I'm just simply sewing a really messy stitch along the bottom edge of the wings where the curves are to keep it from fraying and getting everywhere. Again, if you have a better fabric, you won't need to do this. See, it's a mess, but it works. Scene change. All right, now this is the back of the shirt facing up, and the little lip I fold or I ironed is facing up as well. I'm using fabric fusion fabric glue I got from Joann's as well, and I'm going to start gluing in sections starting from the edge of the sleeve and going inward to the armpit area. I'm doing this so that I can make sure it's all pressed down. That's why I'm doing it in sections. And I'm going into the armpit so that if there's excess fabric, I can kind of attach it better into the armpit instead of having uneven wings, if that makes sense. So go in sections and smooth this down every piece that you go. I'm leaving a little space in the armpit and then I'm going down the side of the shirt. Now sewing in the corner of the, or gluing in the corner of the armpit. Find any holes, fill those in and smooth it out. Now I'm taking my fabric scissors and I'm just smoothing out the edges, making the point sharp and all nice and pretty. And repeat to the other side and there you go you have your very own bat winged shirt that I feel like was pretty simple to make let me know if you guys make any of these send me your pictures and have a very happy Halloween